Okay, so we're going to make some protein balls and these are an, a recipe that you be able to make at home. Very, very easy to make. What I love about them is that they're all natural ingredients and easy to, to find in the shops. But it, the point is that you know exactly what's going into your protein balls. You know every single ingredient. So I'm going to first put in the dry ingredients. So first of all we have some chia seeds. Chia seeds are fantastic for energy, protein, fibre, magnesium and calcium, so they're great. Some porridge oats, you can use baby or jumbo, doesn't matter, so that's your oats. We have some cacao nibs, these are the raw cacao nibs, and they're a really good antioxidant and it's a better quality chocolate to be eating, so they're very great. So add those in. And we need our protein, so our protein, this is one of the protein sources, that's the, I'm using a rice protein powder, but you can use any protein that you want really. So this one is a rice protein, easily digested and absorbed, so it's great. And that's all of the dry ingredients. So you just give those a little mix together, like that. Get them all blended there. And then, a good, good mix. And there you'll add in your wet ingredients. So I've got three tablespoons here. Now that I use the crunchy nut butter, which you can use smooth, whichever you want. Add that in. And I have, a, I'm using, this is my source of oil, I'm using the Udo's Choice because I like it. That's a blend of three, six and nines. Three, six and nines, good for your know, skin, bones, heart. But you can use olive oil, or grapeseed oil, any oil that you have in the cupboard. Two tablespoons that are coming in there. Okay, and we put in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Two tablespoons of agave syrup, which is a low GI sugar syrup. So just two tablespoons of that. And now we get mixing and we bind, mix it all together. That will just take a couple of minutes. So you just have a goo like that at the moment. So we're going to just mix all that. So that to take. And then in a second, I'm going to roll them into little balls. From this mix, you'll get about eight balls. And each ball will work out, we worked out the cost of it, just under 90 cent per ball by comparison to the ball that you buy in the store, which could be anything from 2 euro to up to 350. So they're a great value. So, okay, make sure they're mixed well. And you have a mix like this. Okay, so the next part now, I'm just going to roll them into little balls. And I am going to coat them in desiccated coconut. Scrape it off your finger there like that. And now it's where you get mucky. Just get your hands in here. Actually, I forgot to put in the apple juice, but it feels like these are moist enough, don't really need them. Uh, you just really need the apple juice to create moisture in this size. And just literally roll them in your desiccated coconut. So that's your desiccated coconut. You could use ground nuts if you wanted to, flaked almonds, whatever you prefer. And that's it, that's your protein ball. So voila, and you keep going, you get eight balls out of the mix. So now I've left the eight protein balls in the fridge and they've been in there for about 30 minutes. So they're ready to eat now. So basically one, two of them are as an ideal, two is an ideal portion. And they're fantastic now for a morning snack after the gym is fantastic, but they're a real good blast of protein. So enjoy.